President Xi Jinping said China is willing to continue the good transition with the European side, maintain close communication, enhance strategic mutual trust, focus on mutually beneficial and win-win cooperation, jointly overcome interference and challenges, and achieve a high-level operation of China-EU relations. I welcome Mr. President and Ms. President to pay a visit to China together, which shows the European Union's positive willingness to develop relations with China and serves the common interests of China and the European Union. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the China-EU Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. We are ready to work with the European Union to follow the general direction and main keynote of the development of China-EU relations well, comprehensively restart exchanges at all levels activate mutually beneficial cooperation in various fields, remove disturbances and challenges, and inject new impetus into the development of China-EU relations and world peace and stability. European Commission President von der Leyen arrived in Beijing on Wednesday for a three-day visit to China. The European Union and China today have extensive and complex relations. How we manage these relations will be a determining factor for our future economic prosperity. This is why I do not see decoupling from China as a viable or desirable. We are living in an era full of uncertainties, so we need to strengthen exchanges and coordination, and clearly and sincerely express our views so as to find common solutions. During the meeting, President Xi Jinping stressed that China and the European Union should enhance communication and build understanding to avoid misunderstandings and misjudgment. Moreover, Xi Jinping discussed that China and the European Union should face up to differences, control differences and respect each other, adding that he hopes that the European Commission will focus on the fundamental and long-term interests of the EU, proceed from the overall situation of China-EU relations and play an active role in the healthy and stable development of China-European Union ties. Ursula von der Leyen discussed that the exchanges and mutual learnings between the Chinese and European civilizations have had positive influences on the world, and that the European Union and China have brought consensus on many topics, such as climate change, as well as prioritizing political settlements of regional disputes. The European Union side disapproves of decoupling and disruption of industrial and supply chains and is willing to enhance exchanges and dialogue with China and resume the three dialogue mechanisms as early as possible to carry out more mutually beneficial cooperation, said Ursula von der Leyen. On the Taiwan question, Xi Jinping emphasized that it is the core of China's interests. The Chinese government and the people will never allow anyone to make a fuss about the One China principle. Anyone who expects China to compromise on the Taiwan question could only be wishful thinking and self-defeating, Xi Jinping added. Ursula von der Leyen reiterated that the European Union has no intention to change its long-standing one-China policy, recognizes the government of the People's Republic of China as the sole legal government representing the whole of China, and hopes that the Taiwan Strait will maintain peace and stability.